Hello everyone, welcome to Sushma's Kitchen. Happy Holi to all my viewers and today I'm going to show you Halwa Puri recipe. Uh, this is a very tasty recipe. Hope you will like it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. For making the suji halwa, I have taken one cup of uh, desi ghee here, uh, clarified butter and I'm going to add two cups of uh, suji uh, that is semolina or we need to fry these well for uh, at least for 10 minutes. We have to keep on frying this. So the semolina has uh, fried well, uh, it has changed its color, like slightly brown in color, it, it has to be changed. For 10 minutes you have to keep on stirring it, uh, otherwise it will get burnt. So now this is done, I am transferring this into a plate. Now I have taken here uh, water to boil. Uh, for 1 cup of uh, semolina I have taken 3 cups of water and I uh, have uh, let it boil for uh, 5 minutes. Now the water is boiling, now this is the time we need to add the color, I'm adding a half a teaspoon of orange color, food color in this and 4 to 5 uh, crushed cardamom powder. Now I'm going to add the semolina, the fried semolina which we have and when you are putting this uh, you have to keep on stirring otherwise uh, the lumps will get fast. We have to keep on stirring. Now you can see this is becoming thick. The water is all getting absorbed. We have to keep on stirring and we need to add sugar in this. Now I'm adding 3 to 4 cups of sugar. Keep on cooking like uh, till the oil separates and the semolina is fully cooked. Now you can see the halwa is separating from the pan. This is fully cooked now. For another 2 minutes you keep this in the pan and then you can take it over. See you can see. On this I am going to garnish uh, have some fried kaju, uh, cashew nuts. I am going to add. Now oh, this is almost done. For making the puri, I have taken here uh, maida, all purpose flour here and I am going to add a half a teaspoon of salt in this. Mix it well. I am going to add lukewarm water to knead this. And in this I am going to add uh, 1 tablespoon of oil, knead it well. You have to knead this well for 5 minutes. Generally the puri will come nicely. And allow it to rest for uh, 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes. Uh, or if you have time, you can allow it to rest for half an hour. So 
see now the dough is ready um, everything is done now we have to make this into small balls long balls just leave it for two or three minutes You have to make like this balls and keep this aside. I have taken here a puri press. Uh, I have applied some oil on both the sides so that it doesn't get stick. Now I'll take I'm taking this ball. And press this, close this and press this. Now I have made the puri. Keep this aside. Now I have taken here oil for deep frying the puris. I have uh, made it uh, hot. For making puris, uh, the oil has to be piping hot, uh, then only it will come uh, properly. See, it has to be like this. Now the oil is uh, hot. We can put the puri. 